Hello and welcome to Advanced Data Mining with Weka. I'm Ian Witten and I'm going to be giving some of the lessons on this course which is brought to you by the entire data mining team at the University of Waikato in New Zealand. This is the third in the series of online courses on practical data mining and the use of the Weka workbench. Uh, and this course is going to look at the use of some popular packages in Weka, specialist packages for specialist jobs in data mining. It follows on from two earlier courses, Data Mining with Weka and More Data Mining with Weka. And like those, we're going to pick up some basic principles along the way, as well as learning how to use uh, Weka. And also, we're going to look at some specific application areas in this course to give some example applications. As you know, a Weka is a bird found only in the islands of New Zealand. But as far as this course is concerned, it's a data mining workbench the Waikato Environment for Knowledge Analysis that contains a bunch of machine learning algorithms for various data mining tasks like classification, pre-processing, feature selection, clustering, association rule mining, things like that. In this course, we're looking at version 3.7 and 3.8 of Weka 3.7 onwards, whereas the previous courses looked at Weka 3.6. Uh, this new version, these new versions have got a cleaner core plus a system where you can install packages that put in new functionality. So some of these packages, and there's a lot of them, some of them do things that were already in the core previously. They've been stripped out to make a cleaner Weka core. And there are lots and lots of other packages. Uh, we've been looking at some of them and users can actually create and distribute their own packages if they want to put extra things in Weka. So what are you going to learn in this course? Well, we're going to learn how to use packages, which is very easy. We're going to look at the time series forecasting package and how to do time series forecasting with Weka. We're going to look at data stream mining, incremental classifiers in Weka, and we're looking at the MOA system for massive online analysis. There's a MOA package for Weka, which we'll install and look at. And then also the MOA system itself, You'll install that. It's got a very similar interface to Weka and look at some of its facilities for stream oriented data mining. We're going to be looking at Weka's interface to the R data mining system. You can use facilities in R, which is a pretty advanced data mining system from Weka, getting all that extra functionality in your, uh, in your right inside your Weka. We're going to look at distributed processing using Apache, the Apache Spark system. We're going to be looking at scripting Weka in Python. There is a package which allows you to script Weka right from the Explorer. You can write little uh, Python scripts. And uh, also, you can install the uh, Python Weka wrapper where you install a full version of Python uh, with access to all of the things that Python gives you access to, plus Weka besides. And we're going to look at some applications. We're going to look at analyzing soil samples. We're going to look at neuroimaging with functional MRI data. We're going to look at classifying tweets and classifying images and signal peptide prediction. The aim of this course is to equip you to use Weka on your own data and most importantly to understand what it is that you're doing. We're assuming that you know about data mining and that you're a reasonably advanced user of Weka. You need to be a experienced Weka user to do this course. Uh, you could do the earlier courses, data mining with Weka and more data mining with Weka. Those would certainly prepare you adequately for this course, but you don't have to do those. Uh, just as long as you're an advanced user of Weka, and if you're not sure, you could look at some of the videos on the uh, YouTube Weka MOOC channel, the videos uh, from those earlier courses. So you need to be a Weka user. This is the team. These are the Weka people at Waikato, and uh, you'll uh, meet all of these people as we go through the classes and lessons in this course. They're all experienced Weka users. They've lived with Weka for many years. Okay, the course is organized just like the other courses. There are five classes. Each class corresponds to about a week. Uh, this class, the first class, is on time series forecasting, and then the other class is data stream mining, interfacing to R, distributed processing, and Python scripting. Within each class, there are six lessons. Each lesson is a brief YouTube video, five to ten minutes, like this one, followed by an activity. 
these activities, you actually get to use Weka to do things yourself. And this is where you do your real learning. You don't really learn from me talking to you. You learn from actually doing stuff yourself. The activities are very important in this course. The last lesson of each class is a particular application where we just show you how Weka has been used in a real application. In order to get a certificate, you need to do the mid-class assessment and the post-class assessment which are worth one-third and two-thirds of the credit. If you do sufficiently well in both of those, then you'll get a signed certificate from uh, me uh, uh, certifying that you've completed the course. The activities are not required for assessment, but we strongly recommend you to do them. As I said before, this is where you're going to be doing your real learning. Now, what you should do now is to down Weka 3.7 or 3.8. Actually, uh, I'm not sure 3.8 is out yet as I record this video. Uh, the way Weka works is that odd numbered distributions, that's 3.7, are development distributions, and then eventually they're released as stable distributions, as even numbered versions. So Weka 3.7 will be released as Weka 3.8 either before you see this or soon afterwards. Anyway, in any case, download the latest version of 3.7 or 3.8 if it exists. That'll be fine for this course. You download it for this, from this URL for Windows, Mac or Linux. You need to know how to do this and the uh, first course data mining with Weka will have taught you how to do that. That includes data sets for the course. You do have to use Weka 3.7 or 3.8. You can't use Weka 3.6 for this course because it doesn't have the package system. The new stuff in uh, this new version that we're looking at, in the core, we have some additional filters. And uh, some things have been stripped out. Some little used classifiers have been stripped out and moved into packages. And also little used clusterers and association rule learners. Also in the core, there are some additional feature selection methods. But the most important innovation in the new Weka systems is the, uh, is the package system. Uh, you go to the GUI chooser and on the tools menu you choose the packet manager. Let me do that and show you what happens. Uh, I'm in the uh, Weka chooser. Here's the package manager. And it actually goes to the internet to get a list of packages. And here they are. So you can see all the other package for Arabic stemming here. There's a package for uh, clope algorithm, uh, package for evolution research. There's a lot of packages. Let me just scroll through these. There's just a lot of stuff here. I think there's 150, 154 packages at the moment. A lot of things. Let's go back to the slide. So 154 official packages. Uh, so this package list is on the internet. You need to be connected to the internet. When, uh, when I just did that with Weka and looked at the list of packages, it got them from the internet to get the most up-to-date version. As well as those official packages, there are unofficial packages, which are kind of user-supplied packages, and there's a list of those at this URL. So this is the first class. We've been looking at uh, Lesson 1.1, the introduction, and in installing Weka. Next up is Time Series linear regression with lags. Then we're going to look at the time series forecasting package. And then lesson 1.4 we're going to look at forecasts and then we'll look at lag creation and overlay data. And then finally we'll look at an application analyzing infrared data from soil samples. So that's it for now. What you should do now is to go and do the activity associated with this lesson. It's a revision activity where you'll get to do uh, some of the more interesting questions from the final test, the end of class test for the previous MOOC. It'll just allow you to uh, exercise your, refresh your Weka facilities and remember how to do some of these things. So off you go and do that and I'll see you in the next lesson. But before I go, let me just tell you that, let me just show you that this is where I am at the moment. I'm sitting here in New Zealand. This is the world as we see it. New Zealand's at the top in the middle where the red arrow is and you're probably down at the bottom somewhere. Uh, the, this is where Weka is from. I've turned this map of New Zealand around so that North is at the top, which is probably more familiar to you. And we're right there, the home of Weka at the University of Waikato in the centre of the North Island of New Zealand. I'm really looking forward to giving this course and looking forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Bye for now.